Alright everybody, what is up? <laughs> this is XPalip here, and welcome back to my What is in my XPalip 10 folder video. I think that's how it's called. I might even change it. I have no idea. So, I hope you've checked out my first video. If not, check out the I on the top right, right now. Right now, quickly, quickly, right now. Go and watch that video before you watch this one, um, or just watch this one and then watch the first part. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, just... Link in the description for the first part, if you don't want to take that eye on the top. So this is part two of what is in my folder in x 10. And again, if you're new to this one, um, if you haven't seen the first part, which I recommend you watching right now, um, it's where I show you what aircraft I have, what scenery, and what plugins I have for x 10. And before we start, if you want to see more x 10 videos, go ahead and check the eye on the top right now, on the top right, and click on yes for more x 10 videos, or or and click on yes for more x 10 reviews and I will try to bring you some more x 10 reviews yeah so let's continue so last off we were at the aircraft and commercial side but now we're going to go into general aviation general aviation here we are alright so we're not I'm not going to tell you um, about every single one here so we can delete this one because this one's crap <laughs> um, but most of them so, um, the airfoils, uh, the airfoil labs, Cessna 172, probably the most common aircraft in history, so ever, for general aviation. It, it is an amazing, I can't even talk, man. It's an amazing aircraft, also for X-Men 10. Uh, I've also done a review about that. Check the link in the description down below, quickly, quickly. Um, and also check... Uh, out the link to what where, where you can buy this because it's just incredible. It's really amazing uh, Incredibly detailed and also here you can see a picture of it and the price So then we have the Carinado a 36 Bonanza Bonanza version 2 or well, it's just a Bonanza a 36 um, Yeah, pretty nice aircraft. I haven't really flown with it a lot um, But that doesn't really matter. So we're gonna continue the Carinado Archer, which is also a small aircraft, also pretty nice. Also, I haven't flown with it really much. Um, again, yep. So just continue. The Carinado, no, not the which one. Can and this one is pretty nice. The Carinado B nineteen hundred D, an amazing aircraft. I really love this aircraft. I'm definitely going to be doing a review about this one. And obviously, if you want to see that review, check uh, click on the top right on the eye and on on click on yes for more reviews. So then I will do that. Um. Yeah, so very nice airplane, very nicely detailed. Uh, yeah, just love it. Then we come to the Carinado. Obviously, as you can see, all of them pretty much are Carinado. Uh, Carinado C90 King Air. Uh, very nice aircraft, which actually means that I can delete this King Air. Because I don't need that King Air, because we really got a King Air over here. Carinado, King Air, very nice. Um, then the Carinado C28 Grand Caravan. Oh, I've got the B. So, Carinado C208B Grand Caravan. An amazingly detailed uh, video. Uh, not video. Uh, um, aircraft. I've done a review about it. Check the link in the description. Um, it's a very nice aircraft. I love to fly with it. Mostly because it's so small. And just is a very nice to... Um, to yeah, to just, just do a small uh, hop and go flight. So, very nice. Then we come to the Carinado P... A32, so uh, Papa Alpha 32, Saratage. Um, I'm not even sure if I have done a review about this. I believe I have. Have I? I think I have. Um, so if I haven't, then I'm very sorry, but I, I think so. So uh, check that out in the description. Um, uh, also very nice aircraft. Uh, it's a small aircraft, so it's a Piper, I believe. Um, yeah. Then we have the Carinata Pil Pilatus PC-12. A very nice aircraft. It's also a very expensive aircraft to buy in the real world. Uh, just over a million dollars, I believe. Um, it's pretty small, I would say. It's not really... Well, it is... It's kind of small. It's it's bigger than a Piper. Um, but also very nice. I've also done a review about it. Check the link in the description. And yeah, but just you know, a very nice, very nice um, aircraft. And then the last one, or the last two that I want to show you guys is first of all the Fokker F twenty seven six hundred. It's a free aircraft, but trust me, it is very nice. I have done two videos with it. 
uh, two dangerous airports videos. Um, check those out. Just go to my video section and then check on um, um, dangerous airport series and check those out. And then the um, R W Designs Twin Otter uh, DC86, I believe, or DC8 something. Um, an amazing aircraft. Also done a review about it. Check it out in the link in the description. And yeah, just a very very nice aircraft. All right, so now we are in the scenery package. Whoa. There are a lot of stuff, as you can see. A lot of stuff. And I'm not going to go um, to them for every single one. Uh, these are like um, scenery enhancement uh, files, which makes it just look, you know, better, generally. And, uh, yeah. So, we have a lot of... So, these are obviously the free ones. Um, there are a lot of free ones here. Um, EGLC, London City Airport, EGKK, TG, uh, TDG, one of the best free airports in history, in history. Um, just, uh, read through these and then you can check them out online. Amazing. Just amazing. Um, then we have a couple, a couple, a couple, um, which are payware. One being, let's see where we can, so we can, yeah, the, uh, Miami City, um, for X-Men 10, it's an amazing scenery package. Um, again, if I could do a video about it if you want me to, just hit that like uh, on, just hit that like button and also the yes for more reviews on the top. Uh, then we have EDD, no, 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 um, where is it? I can't even find it. Yeah, uh, New York Airports for X-Men 10, also amazing. And also they wanna bring out, oh, uh, right, they already have brought out a uh, New York City for X-Men 10, which is incredible. I so want to get that. I so want to get that. I'm definitely going to get that. Um, so, again, that's an amazing uh, one. Then, the Fly Temper Dubai Rebooted, which is a converted um, scenery from Dubai. If you haven't seen the review about it, which I definitely like you re can recommend, check the link in the description, and uh, you should be you should find that there. And, actually, we... Yeah, so I think that was pretty much it. I know, then we have KLS Glitter Gulch, which is, um, yeah, just KLS Airport, so in Las Vegas. And I'm just going to cycle through these for you guys to just look at it a bit. Alright, I think that was it for you guys. Alright, so last but not least, we have the plugins folder. So I think it's output, no, resources. Plugins. We have a couple actually. So um, we have ground handling, which doesn't really work, which is uh, a bit frustrating. Um, the this is just for one of my planes. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Um, Ito, which uh, so what is Ito? It is um, the deluxe version of Tugma. What's well, Tugmaster Deluxe? For X-Men 10, if you haven't seen a review about it, watch it in the description down below. And uh, this is just for the A330, the jar design ground handling. And yeah, just look at this. We have the x walk box for that sim, which is um, an online, um, yeah, so online like flying service. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. We have Eve eFast, which is um, not ready for me, which I'm not going to use, and so just delete it. But yeah, I think that's it pretty much for you guys. So you have a look at that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright, so again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, see ya. Oh wait, it's been XPDP, like, subscribe, and stay flying, see ya.